Would you rather deal with with 90 degrees and sticky humidity or 120 degrees with dry heat? Well, we set up a debate between two amazing people. They're quite outspoken on this me <laughs> message that we've been dealing with on social media. In the dry heat corner, we've got Jordy Blanton. She calls Phoenix home, but joins us from Nashville, the music city this morning. And in the corner for high humidity, it's Eric Cornell. He travels extensively along the eastern seaboard <laughs> and joins us from Annapolis, Maryland. All right, guys, the way we're going to do this is we want you each to state your argument the very best you can in 30 seconds. And then we've got Kelly and Dr. Greg Postel that are going to be our judges and determine who's the winner of this very friendly debate. Okay, so we're going to go ladies first. Jordy, that means you. You got 30 seconds. Go. <laughs> All right, so when you're in a dry heat, it's like you're in an oven. So just imagine you're putting the oven to 120 degrees. You put your head in there. About two minutes later, you'll kind of feel what a dry heat's like. Everything melts there. You have to put sunscreen on all the time. Your ears even get burnt if you don't get those right. It's just very hot, and you feel like your body is on fire all the time, and it's miserable, and that is what a dry heat is. And, oh, I hate it. Powerful argument, unbelievable argument, but we have a rebuttal. Okay, Eric, your turn. Hit back on your side with the high humidity. Okay, let's talk about humidity. You're talking about extreme moisture here. So imagine if someone took a cup of dry air and threw it at you. Yeah, that's that, 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 that's the that's the other side. But imagine someone took that same cup of water, hot water, and threw it on you, and there's constant sweating, skin melting, eyes rolling in the back of your head, everything. So listen, humidity is a whole nother level, and if you are a sister that wants the cute hair, you can hang it up. It's not going to happen. It's oh. OV, over. Oh, he brings yes. the flash, he brings the thunder. Jordy, do you have a quick rebuttal? It's just you feel like your body is on fire all the time, and I would rather feel at least a little bit of moisture than just feel nothing at all on my skin. So that's just when it gets to three digit temperatures, I'm, I'd rather be moist. Okay, there's a lot of smoke with that fire. Okay, Eric, you've got the final word. We're going to let you take it. Have at it. Well, I'll tell you, I, I understand your point. However, there's nothing worse than sitting somewhere just boiling. <laughs> Boiling. Wow. Boiling. All right, guys, thank you so much. Don't go anywhere just yet. All right, now we've got a lot of stress. You guys, they made wonderful arguments. Who do you guys pick as your winner? First of all, they're both hilarious. They're great. Both gonna winners. I just tell you that. You got to have a sense of humor when it comes to the yeah. heat, right? Well, we have two options. We have one uh, either sticking your head in an oven yes. or jumping into a boiling pot of hot water. So neither of those are good, and I think they've made the case very well for that. But the thing is, uh, I don't know. I think that the notion of putting myself in an oven uh, is actually kind of more terrifying to me than anything terrifying. else. Terrifying. Yeah. I mean, either way, they do sound yeah. like medieval torture methods. There's no question about yeah. it. Yeah. But and, we have to have a winner. And both methods are going to melt you. They're both going to make you sweat. We have to have a winner. They're both great, but you have to have a winner. <sighs> what do you say? Uh, Jordy. Okay. I say it's a tie, but I oh, mean, there, uh, ties work. Okay. I, no, I got to agree with uh, let's see, Eric, because I don't like the heat and humidity. I just get st everything sticky. Okay. Well, we. Well, I'll tell you what. We've got a tie. <laughs> but, but what do I? You well, guys, thanks so much for your time. Hopefully, you guys will not melt. Stay as cool as you possibly can. Heck, they're already right. cool. But what about you guys? What What about your answers? What do you think? Well, here's what the, how the poll turned out. Okay. The question again was, if you had to spend time outside, which would you rather experience? 38% of you chose a humid 90 degrees and 62% chose a dry 120 degrees. How about that? So more people agreed with Eric then is what you're saying. That is what we're saying.